hello guys welcome to my channel swiftland this tutorial i will show how to add multiple report in a single rdlc report in sp.net c -sharp. if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos start visual studio okay this is the server explorer Expand the database code tutorial db and the XML table. Table name is user info underscore tab. These are the column. Show table data. Yes, these are the records in this table. Now I'm adding two more table to display multiple report in a single RDLC report. Okay. In that case, uh, I'm just adding second table. Table column name is class ID data type integer and uh, second column is class name and data type and marker okay now class id integer and see its uh, identity yes okay increment and dispute is one as well and name the table the table name is uh, my first table name is user info underscore tab and the second table name is the uh, class info tab and i'm gonna adding one more some record uh, class name 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10. Okay. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna adding one more table. This table name is exam. I'll, uh, I'll create this table as exam table. Column name is exam ID, data type integer, and exam name, data type and burger 50. Okay. Now, fee fee is number type so this is plot and uh, exam id is primary key identity specification yes uh, identity yes okay then uh, table name is exam info underscore tab okay the table is also created now i'm gonna inserting some records in this table uh, exam name test and fee 500 okay uh, second record mid term fee 700 final fee 1000 okay and uh, the uh, exam name is uh, practical 1500 okay now i'm gonna creating a project in that case, uh, ASP.NET website select the location where I'm uh, where I want to create this website. Uh, I'm just selecting D drive to create this website. Uh, D drive and name this project is multiple report underscore RDLC. Click on OK. Yes, yes, my pro website is created. This is the default now this is blank website okay right click and uh, add a new data set just click on data set click on add you can name this data set this is the default data set 1.xsd okay this is the data set now i'm adding some table uh, you can uh, right click and create table or you can just uh, drag the uh, drag this table what I already created in the server explorer okay this is the SQL table uh, user info tab exam info tab and class info tab table adapter you can keep it or you can remove this table adapter okay now now add new item solution explorer okay now i'm gonna adding a report report dot rdlc so name this report uh, i just named this report is all info dot rdlc okay now click on add yes the report is created now in the report data just click on data set 
I have data set name is data set one dot xsd so data source is data set one and uh, table there are three table you can see uh, I'm just selecting the table user info underscore tab the data set one user info tab is added now add one more data set uh, for exam info just click on ok yes the exam info uh, added as data set 2 and uh, uh, exam class info as exam 3 ok now all the uh, table is added in the report data now report property landscape reference ok it's done now I'm going to design this report okay now i'm adding a text box text object this is for user info just uh, copy and paste it this is for class info and third one is for exam info yes exam fee okay now uh, make it bold and font size 12 feet okay now add a table yes this is the first table I will load the data from the data set 1 user info table uh, ID and name the third column is sex okay I just taking three uh, three column in the first table and I'm adding one more column in this table and this column is for CD okay make it bold header is bold so okay now it's nice now adding a more one more table for class info okay now data set one uh, data set two class info data set three is class class id class name okay data set three is class info class id class name and uh, it's enough class ID and class name because the, it has only two columns okay now exam fee add one more table to display exam fee delete this column uh, it's a uh, two column is enough because I, I am only uh, showing exam fee in two columns only exam name and fee this is in the data set 2 exam name and exam fee okay uh, now it's nice okay my uh, design is uh, done to display records now go to the svx space and the button change the text of this button button is a load report and font size font bold true and font size large okay now back color of this button is green okay now it's looking nice now go to the toolbox and add a report viewer go to the reporting expand the reporting and just drag the report viewer yes the report viewer is Edit. Resize the report viewer. Yes. Now go to the click event button. Click event. Yes. This is the button click event. In this uh, button click event, I will write code to uh, to load records from the SQL Server database table. The data set. So private data table. Uh, name is user info okay now 
click on here or you should uh, add namespace using system data okay it's added now data table dt equal to new data table okay now sql connection con equal to new sql connection my connection is uh, to copy this connection uh, we should add namespace in system data dot sql client okay now i am gonna adding connection string uh, to get connection string go to the server explorer right click the database and click on property yes this is the connection string you can see in the property window just select the connection string and copy yes now first yes now this is connected with the database now i am going to write uh, command before command i just open this connection con dot open and sql command cmd equal to new sql command yes my sql command is uh, this uh, method is for user info so the sql command is select star from user info underscore tab my table name is user info underscore tab and click on yes now sql data reader rd equal to cmd dot execute reader execute reader uh, use to retrieve data from the sql server database and displaying the uh, data table in the report okay dt dot load rd return dt okay now just uh, select and copy and paste it for second uh, table uh, second table is second table is class info okay I just copy paste to reducing time all are same just change the SQL command and the method okay class info underscore tab and uh, this is for exam info and change the table name exam info underscore tab okay now in the button click event just call this method report viewer one dot reset to reset the report and uh, report data source add the report data source report data source d d user equal to new report data source okay add name is uh, sorry yes, yes add name space using microsoft reporting dot web form okay now it's done now the data tools are data set one and data set one is user info what you can see user info yes now second uh, report data source second one is for class info so d class and third one is for d exam okay now this is also class info and exam info oh exam info yes is capital letter so it's displaying error okay now you can see this is uh, for data set one uh, user info and uh, data set three class info and exam info is for data set two okay now 
report viewer one dot local report data source dot add the user and as same is the class and the exam so just copy and paste the user the class and third one is d exam okay report viewer one dot local report dot report path report path is my report name you can see report name is all info dot rdlc yes finally report viewer one dot local report dot refresh you should refresh this report now debug yes oh it's displaying an error report viewer uh, to rectify this error go to the default dot spx uh, stop debugging first you should add a script manager it's missing a script manager if you want to use report viewer you must add a script manager as extension extension yes script manager is added now go to the browser and reload this page yes it's rectified load report yes it's yes it's perfectly displaying all the records a uh, user info class info and exam fee uh, as well okay now go to the report and uh, uh, header is bold make it bold of all each uh, record but it's not looking like report so just change the design a little bit uh, so that you can uh, understand and you can look uh, that this is uh, this is there is a multiple table so yes now first of all i am just changing the background color and uh, yes reload this page yes now it's looking uh, the different different report and uh, i mean it's uh, displaying as multiple report in a single rdlc report